Welcome everybody to this video. Um, today's video. You know what? I was thinking that I never purchased like, um, as far as with Nike, I've never purchased uh something that wasn't a high end cleat. Um, through, when I played in high school, I just used Mexican brands, um, cleats that I mean did the job. They held up pretty good. They they were leather cleats. Um, it wasn't until the Vapor 3 and the Vapor 4, where I really got into cleats and, and, and started um, checking them out more, I guess you could say. I was more intrigued by them. Um, I did get a Teleria. If you guys are familiar with that, that's just like the the Vapors here and then the Teleria. And then later on, they brought the Superfly out. So I did try the Teleria. And let me tell you, there was a big difference to me. Um, it looked the part. It looked like a, a Vapor, um, which is I think that's what Nike goes for. I don't necessarily think that these brands, when they make their their lower tier boots, they really focus on the performance aspect. I feel they just want to target the people, you know, maybe there's um, newcomers into the soccer, you know, who are playing soccer, parents who don't want to, you know, shell out $200, $300. I don't blame them, um, you know, right away. So what they'll do is, you know, get these lower tier boots that kind of look the same, kind of look the part and... You know, if you continue, if you can keep going, you know, you work up to um, something like this. So what I have here is two safari print um, cleats, boots. Um, I've, like, again, I've never um, owned a lower tier because I just never had to. And the Vapors, honestly, when I purchased them, I did I wasn't buying them at full price. The three, I had the 2006 uh, World Cup edition one. Um, I bought it half size small because I really wanted them, but they were on sale. And then the four, I actually got in my size. I still have the four. The three I gave away like a dummy. Um, I didn't think back then of boot collecting, you know, having this item in your hand was going to mean something someday. So I gave those away to somebody who needed them. He needed them. Whatever. I'm okay with it. Um, and, and so I just never really... I wasn't buying boots like crazy back then. You know, those those fours last me a long time. I'm not real aggressive when I play. I'm, so my boots tend to last me, I would say, a long time, you know, and, and I clean them all the time. So they're never like really dirty. So I kind of wanted just to compare, you know, a high end to a lower end. And basically, is it worth getting if you're, should you just save up your money and buy something? Or should you try a lower end and see if you get through, if it'll be okay with that, I guess? So I'm gonna open them up. Let me take them both out. I'm gonna, I guess, unbox this one first. This one just comes with your boots. They don't, there's no bag, there's nothing um, special with them. It's just the boot, which again, they looked the apart to me, you know? Comes with a little sock thing there. Um, we'll get into the differences in a little bit more. And I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion on what I think about these. Because again, they look cool, but is it worth it? So we're gonna see um, what are the differences besides just getting a mesh bag. I mean, besides just getting a, you know, the boot bag that I hate so much, but this is the Superfly Elite version. And there's one as you can see it does say um flying it above it right here so you know this collar is made of flying it which again um i would have gotten the the vapor version instead of the superfly um but it just didn't release until actually today it came out and here's your String bag, there you go. That's the word I'm looking for. String bag, just yeah, whatever. So that's one big difference is you don't get the the string bag um, with your lower tier. Okay, so now that I have these in hand, what I'm looking at, and sorry they're a little bit out of um, frame, but that's okay. I'm gonna pick up the boots and show you guys. Um, looking out up the top. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can put. Uh, let's do. Let's do a left and a right together. Okay. So first off, looking at it, 
This is just a little bit wider. So you're going to have a wider fit. Maybe if you're, if you have a wider foot, you might want to try these maybe. Um, so that's one big difference. But if you're wearing a super fire, you're wearing a mercurial, you want that tight sock like feeling. So then again, it kind of takes away from the whole reason of wearing a, a mercurial. Um, again, this say mercurial on the, tips of the shoelaces this one doesn't shoelaces exactly the same again this is going to be a fly knit collar this is going to be just a dynamic fit collar i don't know what this is made of um if you can see the cut or the heel is just a smidge height higher on the on the lower tier version i don't know i don't even know what to call them <sighs> normally i would just call them a knockoff version but you know they are respectable and the prices oh yeah let's talk about the prices so superfly is going to run you a good 275 and this version the superfly 8 academy let's call them the academy version is going to run you set you back 85 dollars so big difference almost 200 dollars difference um again i feel these are more for if you're on a budget if you don't want to spend this but you want to look the part and I don't, I'm one person to think that your shoe isn't going to determine if you're a better player or you're a worse player. But what it does do is makes you feel comfortable. Um, you have to feel, you have to be comfortable when you're playing no matter what. So if these if you can wear these and feel comfortable, um, why not do it? You don't even have to watch this video. If you, if you already wear the Academy version and you like it, I'm not doing this to persuade you. I'm talking about for money. You know, other videos, other YouTubers go down to specs, but really, what does that mean? If you don't, if you're not familiar with, if you don't know what a flying, what flying it is, you know, we, t we can talk about specs all day. That doesn't matter to me. I'm telling you just based off of my opinion. Okay, so now next important thing would be the sole plate. Um, they look similar, except here, the studs, I think, are a little more rounded on the these two right here compared compared to the superfly so as you can see these these four are a little bit more rounded than the superfly which means it's probably not going to be as aggressive for your turns for your stops um for all that type of stuff but it still looks like a pretty good soul plate um it still looks like the same exact um soul plate if you ask me if you're from far away I don't think you'd be able to tell a difference. This might just be a little bit wider. Again, the shoe is a lot wider. There's some stuff that was stuck to that. Um, so now let's move on to the upper. The upper, I feel, is going to be much more. Um, it's going to mold to your foot more on the Superfly than it will on this. I wouldn't say this feels cheap. It definitely does not feel premium and that's exactly how this collar is going to feel versus the fly knit. It's just not going to feel very tight to your foot, which is what you need, obviously. And it looks like this might even, if you don't have a thicker ankle or a thicker leg, it, it may not even um, shape to your, your foot or be tight. Um, so... Based, based just off, off of this alone, those are the most important things. The fly knit, the upper of the shoe, the sole plate, right? That's when we purchase the high-end cleats. That's what we're looking for. You know, we, we like this upper. We like the fly knit. We like the aggressive um, stud pattern, the, the sole plate, everything. Um, based off just that alone, I, I still think that these are overpriced, but I think they're... For what you're paying for, you're getting a way better cleat for this price. Um, my thing would be, if you're on a budget, you're not too serious. Um, maybe you don't play as much. Maybe you're in like in a rec league or a co-ed league, something like that. And and you're just gonna dirty your cleats. You don't care. You're not really a a boot kind of kind of sewer where you like to try boots and and stuff like that. 
I see nothing wrong with this. But if you're planning on being competitive, high level, elite, I I would say stay away from from these type of cleats because honestly, durability is going to be a factor as well. You know, you're going to pay eighty five dollars. They might not even last you the season. You got to go grab another pair. Let's say you grab another pair of these. Another eighty five dollars right there. At that point, you're almost to this price range um or you're about to hit the the super the mercurial vapor sorry the mercurial vapor um price line at those are priced at i believe two two hundred two 200 to something like that i don't know i don't remember um i i get confused only because of my discount so i gotta try to add on the discount price and whatever that's the only reason why so yeah if you're trying to be competitive even if you're new into soccer i would say you should probably try to get maybe not the newer version of a new shoe, whether it's a Temple, whether it's, you know, Superfly, Mercurio, Vapor, anything like that. Try to go from, you can probably find on sale, you know, a previous version. Or check out your, right now, not so good, but check out your local Nikes. You know, if you can drive a little bit, check uh, check out your Burlington's, um, your Ross, those type of stores. You might be able to find you know, a, a higher tier boot at a low, at a low price. Um, that's just my opinion. I really don't think these are, are worth it. And I'm definitely going to be returning these. I just, I, I'm not even going to try them on. I'm not going to try them on because I just, I just know that it does have some padding back here. But again, I'm so, I feel like I'm so used to this that I don't feel I'm going to get the same, same sensation that I would um, from this so again whether you're new or not I don't recommend you you know trying to get this that's just my fact I would think I would save up and get something like this or try to get an older version um, of a higher tier boot so that's just my opinion uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments do you play in an academy or do you play in in in, in like a what are the adidas point threes or or point twos um, Pumas as well. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, or maybe I'm wrong. Tell me if you played in this and it feels great or you like it. Hey, that's, that's, that's awesome too. You're saving yourself some money. And if you can get away with it, that's, that's even better. Um, uh, but I just feel like durability wise and, and comfort wise, you're definitely going to get more for your money with this one. I, obviously these are made for the highest, highest performance and um comfortability for your foot i don't know if that's a word or not but yeah so guys thanks for watching comment below if you're new subscribe thank you to all my old subscribers i'm still trying to get a thousand so i can do a giveaway of some sort so um if you know somebody that isn't subscribed man tell them to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one peace